Greetings. In the previous tutorial, we went as far as changing the language of the page based on the locale set using the manual set locale method of set translate object. This time we are going to let Zen framework automatically pick the language to translate based on the browser's preference or the user's manual selection. Before we're going to let Zen Framework detect the language set in the browser or by the user, we're going to let it scan the language's directory automatically instead of having to manually add each language using the add translation method. So we'll take uh, these two lines out and I'm going to modify uh, Zen Translate object declaration. I will leave the first parameter as is, get text, which is our adapter that we want to work with and I'm changing the second parameter to be the directory instead of the file and the third parameter is going to be now because I don't want to select the default language the final fourth parameter is the array option which is going to tell it to scan the directory based on file name. So there are many many ways you can scan the directories. I am simply using the file name as the language name. You can see a list of all the available ways to scan a directory uh, in the manual. So to test and make sure that it picked up all the languages properly, I can use get list method. So I should see both of the languages picked up here. So I have English for en.mo and Russian for iu.mo. Okay, uh, so now that my translations are ready, I'm going to use Zend Locale to detect the language set by the browser. Uh, so as I said before, we are looking both into the browser's default language and the user's selection. We're going to start with the browser's default language. Uh, this is something that is set in the language preferences of the browser. Whichever one at the top is going to be the one that we will be using. Now I can actually let Zen translate do the detection using the third parameter, either setting it to auto or setting it to browser. Uh, but I'm going to let Zen locale to do that because um, I don't want to simply translate the page but I want to also use other locale aware functions from Zen Framework such as date or number or currency so that the user is not only seeing the page in their own language but is also able to see the data in a format that they are comfortable with. So to do that I'm going to create an instance of Zen locale inside of the locale variable. Uh, now I'll show you how it detects the languages set in the browser. If I print out a list of languages using get browser, uh, you will notice that it outputs an array of all languages that are set in the language preference or of the web browser. The one that's on top being the first key of the array. So right now it's Russian and If I move English up, it's going to be English as the first one. So I can use that to set the locale and the language of the page uh, by picking the first key of that overall array using the key uh, function of the PHP. And now I'm going to put that inside of the, uh, inside of the requested uh, language variable. Now the whole reason why I am going through all this trouble of putting it in the variables rather than just letting it do the work automatically because you may have noticed that the language of the page already changed when I did the language preference. Um, that's because Zen Translate is a Zen locale aware 
function. Uh, so uh, I need to go through the trouble of putting it in the array in a separate variable so that I can keep track of it uh, when the user makes the choice. That way I can put this uh, variable into a session. I also want to be able to use other uh, then locate aware functions uh, that may need this information. So instead of just letting uh, translate and locate blindly set a language for me, I am keeping track of all this information in the variables. Uh, you will see later how I utilize them as we progress. So this is our requested language that uh, picked up by the browser. And I am going to also set the locale based on the browser selection. And I will use set locale method and the locale to be set is based on the browser. Okay, so I am creating a instance of Zen Translate by detecting all the languages available. I am creating an instance of Zen Locale. I am setting the locale based on the browser and I am also taking the requested language. Now I want to check whether the language is actually available uh, before I do the translation. I don't want to translate based on the requested language if it's not available because then I may have unexpected warnings. So I'm going to check if the requested language is available in the overall set of languages detected by the translate. I'm going to use inarray function of PHP and I'm checking requested language if it is inside of the list of languages. If it is, I am setting the language variable to be requested language and otherwise if language is not available I am doing a fallback to English. So uh, why do I do it at this stage? Well because just because the translate is not available it doesn't mean I, I have to neglect uh, the locale so even though say French translation is not available and it's going to be all in English, I can still let the users enjoy the dates and numbers in the French locale by setting the locale earlier. Remember that locale is a part of that framework while translations are not. So I have the liberty of setting the locale earlier and always be sure that it's going to be available. So with the language set, I am going to let the translate know about it at this point. So right now when I have Russian at the top uh, I'm going to have the content in Russian and when I have English at the top I will have my content in English. But if for whatever reason the user is not satisfied with uh, the quality of the translation, they may want to switch the languages manually. Just because their browser is set to Russian, they may not want to see the page in Russian, and they may want to see it in English or the other way around. Just because they have an um, English set as their primary language in the browser, doesn't mean that they want to see the page in English. So we're going to let the user uh, have the chance to select a language that they want to see. 